Hello and welcome to round one of the Formula Rookie European Championship. Uh, today we will be racing around the Autodromo Internacional dos Algarve. Uh, in other words, Portimao. Um, a track that I haven't raced on since I believe it was V8 Supercars. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> but uh, a track I do uh, I do enjoy racing at. Um, especially that lovely fast flowing corner towards the end uh, of the race there. So without any further ado, let's go get the opening round underway and uh, see what happens out on the track. <clears throat> right then. So let's have a go at this circuit then. Now I'm sure you'll understand this is a lot more different than a V8 supercar. And it's one of those undulating circuits as well. It's got lots of undulations on it. the undulations most apparent here. It's just up and down and up and down. Well that's the kind of circuit I like. I love these undulating circuits. Now this comes on to, I believe, that lovely last corner, yes. I do wish F1 would come here. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like they will. This um, championship has got all circuits I enjoy. Um, Catalonia, I'm very familiar with that circuit being uh, an F1 dry racer. Donington, very familiar with that circuit as well. And I can't remember what the uh, last circuit was.
but it's European. That I know. Because before uh, I came and did this, I was online um, with some uh, Aussies around Daytona. And uh, they couldn't handle it, I was faster than they were. So they kicked me out. Should start to see some laps uh, appear on the board here now. 2.07. I'm around that area, 207. Someone's just a 206, that's nice of them. And all them tens I just made up I've lost. Now regains. And now lost. There is potential in this circuit for me to get a good pole lap, but uh, whether it happens or not, I don't know. Still eight. We've got to make sure that uh, we don't nap up this corner like we did on the last race. Flat. It's a very unusual line I'm taking, I will admit. This will move me up this lap. I'm eight tenths faster. So this might move me up to about fourth, fourth, maybe fifth, something like that. 
eight. Oh well. I'm eight out of twelve. I think I'll take that. I think that represents uh, a good qualifying. And plus it gives me a chance to uh, do something good in the race. So let's go and uh, race for eight laps around uh, Portimao. So here we go, Portimao. And we get a good start here with the green light underway. And we're already past our teammate. Looks like we're going to make up a place here. And we're into the lead. That is a fantastic start. How do you like that for a fantastic start? We're not the fastest car here, but uh, we're the most consistent. As long as we're in the lead, that's all we care about. Oh, here comes, look at this guy, in second, he's got to run. And we block that run. Didn't like that, did ya? Oh, it's gonna be like that, is it? Tried to take me out of the wheel. You saw that. And I should point out, I do have a new teammate for this. And uh, I believe my teammate is that guy that says AHM. He's an American with an Arabic name. Well done, Project Cars. <laughs> And in no way was that meant to sound as racist as it sounded. I'm sure, I know there are a lot of Americans that are uh, foreign nationals. around to complete lap two here at Port Email. Oh, they wide out the last corner. Can you imagine F1 car going around that corner? That'd be filth. We 
running very wide in turn one. Now into turn three up. Turn four to the acceleration zone. But if you get it wrong, if you compromise the straight. Coming up to turn five and now another heavy braking zone. But connect with the corner and you're lapping. Turn six is a king, turn seven's very there, turn eight now. And then you go over the crest, turn nine's waiting there for you. Flat through turn nine, turn 10 and 11 are a, are a double right. Turn 12, another acceleration zone before we hit turn 13. And then turn 14, you've got to get this one right because you don't get 14 right. It compromises turn 15 and the long straight. Oh, yeah. Compromise turn three a bit, so we've got to go tight through four, but that gives us a good exit. I think there was a lot of hope for poor team out when it first came out. Let's be face it, they only really had one proper racing circuit at, um, in Portugal, and that was Estoril. But I think Estoril would become uh, a bit dated. Estoril tried to update itself to keep with uh, the times, but it, it just didn't work. I mean, don't get me wrong, Estoril's a good circuit. I'm going to take nothing away from Estoril. But I think poor Timo should be um, a good circuit to come to. I mean, yeah, they have the third street circuit at Porto. But that, for me, Porto street circuit's just too tight. I need the Porto Street Circuits just for touring cars. Send the touring cars around there, you're laughing. This this is a multi-purpose circuit, Port email. You could do Le Mans, you could do Superbikes. 
In fact, I think Superbikes did come here before, uh, after they moved to Mesterill. But then uh, the new facility opened in Aragon, so they had two more Spanish Grand Prix. Which sucks. Yeah, because they got MotoGP, they've got a race at Catalonia. They've got a race at Jerez. And then they've got a race at Aragon. I mean, I understand keeping the Spanish fans happy, but not that happy. That'd be like F1 coming to Britain three times. Or the new uh, owners, Liberty Media, now having uh, two American Grand Prix next year. You got the one that's over here with uh, Circuit of the Americas in Te Travis County, Texas. And then you got the proposed one from uh, Miami, which is going to replace Azerbaijan. No, don't replace Azerbaijan. Go replace Russia. Or Abu Dhabi. Don't replace Russia. Uh, sorry, Azerbaijan. I mean, you, they took Malaysia out of this year's championship just to accommodate France. That officially goes under the title, no thank you. Because Malaysia, Malaysia is one of the best circuits around. My judge, I've not got a bad word to say about Paul Ricard because Paul Ricard's got loads of circuits for it. It's one of those, it's like, um, I'm trying to remember that circuit complex, um, there's a motor racing circuit around, I can't remember where it is. I think it's Buenos Aires, because Buenos Aires had about... 15 different configurations and Paul Ricard's almost like the same now these guys are getting pretty close here what's going on Ian have a word We are coming up to the final lap. Is it 
Hockenheim. Our last race. Oh, here comes uh, Bird. We'll put the blocker on him. I should put our teammate into third. The, uh, the Southern Motorsport team behind us. Might be the best first set of time, but I don't think the middle set is going to be any better. Was cheeky. <coughs> and now what I've done is I've put Lee back into the clutches of my teammate. So we're coming around the penultimate corner, one corner to go. One corner to go, through the last corner now, it's drag race. We're going to hold him off and win at Potty now. It's a 1-3 for Tiger Energy Motorsports. And what do you got to say about that? Doesn't really matter, we lead the championship. Garnet Lee got the fastest lap and earns one bonus point. Just being Garnet Lee. All in all, I think that represents a good uh, a good J. So yes, all in all, I think that represents uh a good day. Where are we also going to? Are we going to Monza and the Red Bull Ring? Ah, okay. So that'll be interesting. Monza and the Red Bull Ring. Uh, we have a new message. Uh, apparently that wasn't the result in qualifying they were looking for. Hold on, it wasn't the result you were looking for, but we won the race, so what's your problem? Unbelievable. Uh, we got any invites yet? Nope, no invites yet. And we're not affiliated with anyone just yet either. Which is a bit disappointing. But uh, yes, that uh, was a good race here at uh, Portimao. I hope you all enjoyed that. And... Uh, I hope you join us for the next race from the Circuit de Catalonia Barcelona Nacional. So until next time, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.